what trips most humans up and this is the same conversation that we had a little bit ago today where you think about your action orientation or the manifestation part of it rather than the energy part of it for example does the idea of clarity seem easily achievable on certain topics yes say again on certain topics yes do you think that you could get clear on something today mm -hmm. do you think that you can get clear on something 20 years from today do you think you need 20 years to find clarity or do you think that clarity is something that is easily achievable the point that we're making is that thoughts and alignment of thoughts are easily achievable and you usually don't assign the necessity of time to them in other words I can be happy or sad today I can be happy or sad 20 years from today but I don't need 20 years to go from sad to happy I could focus that into being today and we want you to understand that everything is that way but it is your action orientation and your belief in how long it takes to gather up if you can think of money as energy rather than as money then you can shorten the timeline so would you suggest then to just keep setting kind of baskets in feelings not necessarily a dollar amount but just feelings where I feel it's satisfying and then let this good feeling I have about what the 1.5 billion stands for yes but even more we would focus upon the outcome that you're reaching for rather than the means that you believe is necessary to accomplish it if you think about what you want and why you want it the energy is usually clear but if you think about what you want and how you're going to get it and when it's going to come and what it's going to require and who's going to be there then you introduce a lot of unnecessary questions to which you don't have the answers which just piles resistance which makes the timeline have to be more spread out but it doesn't need to be the universe can deliver it to you as quickly or as slowly as you believe it to be and that's why sometimes when people talk to us about big goals that they have big goals we encourage them to not put those extra descriptive words around it because when it feels big then you mean it feels slow or it feels harder or it feels less likely you just sort of want to find the feeling of it which can be clean and resistance free right now mm -hmm. hence the button and this type of that's what that whole analogy is about and also this is something that we have heard from many people over time I want this big sum of money but I'm going to do a lot of good with it in a sort of justifying I need the justification for doing the good before I will allow the good to come to me and we want you to just want it mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's that feeling that you need to justify it that is really even a bigger culprit than the feeling that you need 20 years to get it mm -hmm. okay so then the feeling is wonderful why I'm so doing. much money anyway that's nothing what, should cost that much that's just what it costs that's what it costs costs what it costs well your logical mind might be warped <laughs> because we cannot assign monetary value to energy and when you stop doing it you'll get a lot more bang for your buck <laughs> yeah. so it's a professional sports team and it's 20 years from now I'm gauging it's about 1.5 billion yeah, and we know. we're talking after it's tax. not worth that much yeah okay. no and the feeling and that's the thing I really like I feel so great about it and if I talk with my wife about it or anybody else in terms of why I like it um, it's because I've had the feeling so many times with the sports team that it brings so many people together at least for that team when they're doing well San Antonio Spurs for example so that just makes me feel really great so if someone asked me what do you really want that's what I really want now in other things when well, I just clean it up by wanting that or something like that but don't assign a price tag to it that throws resistance on the trail and we know this is the same subject that we've talked about earlier a couple of times here today where you're wanting to bridge or blend the action with the energy 
or the physical with the non-physical we're just suggesting to you that your practicality you're wanting to look at it through your physical eyes before the energetic work is done will slow the energetic work down it's a little bit like the discussion of when to offer the action and we say offer the action once you're completely in alignment when you're completely in alignment then there's no resistance but if you're offering the action or even contemplating the action before you're completely in alignment then it feels like a really big hard thing to do and nothing is a really big hard thing to do when you have the leverage that creates worlds flowing with you so what I really want to feel now I want to allow that because the feeling of it, just the thought of it's good enough actually for me. Don't get your desire ahead of your belief. That's just torturing yourself unnecessarily. If you get your desire ahead of your belief, then it's uncomfortable. Then you have to add decades to the process. But what if your desires just called your belief into alignment? What if your desire is uninhibited because you put it there, it's there and it's real. And what if? your inner being is all over it and calling all of the cooperative components and do you know how you'll know when you're a cooperative component when it doesn't feel hard to do when it just feels like the next logical step so I'd like to be let off the hook or if you could help to let well, me off the hook we can help you the next logical step is not to take any action the next logical step is to enjoy the whole idea of it to take pleasure from the idea of it because what trips everyone up is having a goal that they can't see the means to the end and so the goal itself feels more uncomfortable than it does pleasurable so what you want to do is use the power of your focus to let this intention be utterly and only satisfying no downside it's in vibrational form do you know every empire even every relationship every magnificent creation really every creation is accomplished vibrationally almost immediately long before you allow the physical bricks and nails and boards and sports people to become part of the equation do you believe we're asking all of you this do you believe that you have the ability to take pleasure from the vibrational form of your creation because that's really what you got to do you got to take pleasure and only pleasure from the vibrational form of your creation and when you've got that nailed down then all of the other pieces will come into place but when you believe that you've got to figure out how or where or when the other pieces are going to come into place before you let yourself take pleasure in it then it gets all lopsided mm -hmm. so you said the active it's active in the in the vortex and that and by active yeah. we mean attractive in nature mm -hmm gathering the cooperative and if I components don't go, if I don't go towards it because I've um, created it the feeling of it and the desire for it that's the thing I want to be left off the hook of if I don't ever achieve that thing that feeling except for the feeling that's enough I want to because the physical is so still something that we well that's illogical someone who really wants something cannot say that okay a lot of humans try to say that we never have any of it but a lot of humans try to say that because what they're wanting to do is let themselves off the hook for the doubt that they currently possess we're just saying get rid of the doubt can't get rid of anything replace the doubt with the pleasure of the idea we want you to all receive the benefit of this conversation because most people have an idea or a goal that they want to achieve and they feel like it needs to be accomplished before they can really settle into the pleasure of it once I get this then I will have the success that I wanted and then everything clicks together we want it to click together in the vibrational phase and you know when it's come together the success that you're looking for is not just the ownership of the team or even the ability to leverage their talent and probability against the cost of them we want the desire of it to be all that you need to find thoughts are turning to things and once you've put something into the vortex it's gathering the cooperative components and minus your doubt the cooperative components would all come into place do you see yourself as one of the cooperative components because if there's hesitation you're not if you're trying to let yourself off the hook then you're not you have to allow yourself to be 
a free flowing vibrational particle that can be attracted by the idea of your desire step one is you gave birth to it step two is it's alive and it's real and your inner being and all of the forces all of the leverage that creates worlds it's all there for you you have to let yourself go with it if you have given birth to it you will never be able to hold yourself apart from something important that you've given birth to and be joyful so it's not just giving up the idea of the dream it's giving up the happiness that the dream promises oh we're almost on it the whole point of wanting it is for the happiness that the dream promises and then the manifestations it just it has to come but when you say well maybe I'm willing to give up the big picture of it and we say you can't do that because now you've given up on the happiness that the dream promises are you following this you either believe or you don't so I'm trying to get myself into a state of that feeling because I do have an attachment to it. This is the disadvantage of asking for things that are bigger than you believe. Ask for a whole bunch of things that are just the right size until you have shown yourself that all things are possible. That's the basket thing that Jerry was talking about. You get the basket out there so far you don't believe it. After a little while you stop trying or you make up things that aren't true. I never really wanted to do that anyway. That's why I put it out there so far. I was just kidding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so I have a uh, deep feeling that I, I I can already see I know I have it within me well maybe it's not within you but the potential of it is when it's within you you're not talking like this when it's really within you you're saying I got this going on just thought I'd let you know watch for it you'll see it remember mm -hmm. my face uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh. mm -hmm. So basket where I can hit it and just continue going with that. Just remember what the real goal is. You see, Esther says to people on a pretty regular basis, she got it from Jerry because he said it on a really regular basis. They'd go somewhere and she'd say, just looking for something to want. Just looking for something that rings my bells because your bells ringing feels really, really good. And so when life shows you something that rings your bells, you can keep those bells ringing as it comes into fruition and by the time it comes into fruition there are a whole lot of other things that are ringing your bells too because you're not ever going to get it done so it's the bell ringing that you're reaching for it's the reason to focus and the reason to even care about how you feel that's what it's all about the things that life helps you to define that you want are not because anybody needs to create that it's not that that is necessary for the upliftment of the universe. The reason that the ideas occurred to you is so that you will have a focal point in this time and space reality upon which you can find alignment with your inner being so that you can feel the power or the invincibility of your creative prowess, not because you needed to create it, but because it feels good to be in the process of creating. This is hard for humans to hear because there are so many things that you want to create and you think that the creation of that is the main event it isn't it's just the reason to flow the energy which is the main event it's the feeling of things coming into place it's the pointing and feeling the power of the universe flowing through you and it's the necessity of finding alignment which is what true life is so the things that you ask for are only the reason for the necessary alignment but it's a necessary alignment that is really what you're reaching for so when someone like you conjures a really big intention that feels like it's going to take a lot of focus that just means you really like to focus that also means that you've discovered that big things ring your bells small things don't ring your bells after big things have rung your bells you can't go back there's no going back you can't be a magnificent creator and then be excited about creating something that's really mediocre and once you've tasted the energy that creates worlds and you have felt it pulsing through you and you've seen the results of it you can't go back to something that you don't feel that way about you always have to feel that way and more that way and more that way and more. thinker you got to be a big thinker which means you got to go along with your inner being who thinks big